So we're still in Lake Bourne. We moved from the shoreline out to one of the rigs right off, off of uh, one of the points on the, uh, on the far side of Lake Bourne, or the eastern side of Lake Bourne. And, and now we've gone from pretty much popping corks and shallow water fishing. Um, uh, Mike stayed on the bottom, but I've gone ahead and put a 3 8 ounce jig in with the same Berkeley gulp I was using before. I'm gonna work around this little rig right here. It's got a little shell pad, and so what we're hoping is those fish are sort of hanging around that shell pad. Really, man? Somebody told him, don't go to the light. I think he's pulling the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going upwind. That's what I was trying to do. Look at that. Come on. That's all right. Uh, you know, almost identical to the last one. Yeah. Pretty pretty. Did I get him in the mouth? Barely. I actually got him on the outside of the mouth. That's a sensitive rod. I felt him looking at it. <laughs> he was sniffing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's trout. a speckled trout. Speckled trout. trout. Very nice. Very nice on a Berkeley Gulf. On an old, yellowed, pearl white. Chewed. <laughs> Berkeley Gulf. Redfish already had his way with it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Cast we do release. practice uh, catch and release for future generations. Sure, <laughs> sure. That's what he says. <laughs> Mike, you talked about just, just checking the rig out. I, I mean, is this a year-round rig? Is it, is it certain times of the year? Um, you and I have fished it now once in the spring, once in the fall. You hear about guys fishing in the summer, checking it out. What, what's, what's sort of the, the cycle on, on a rig like this in Lake Bourne? I would think this rig could be productive, or I'll, I'll try it March, April, May, June, maybe first week of July. And then I feel after July, it doesn't do very much at all as far as speckled trout. I'm sure there's drum and redfish and flounder and sheephead and all those other type of fish around it um, during those hot summer months. Then once we get into the fall, middle of October, all the way to Thanksgiving, I'll be trying it. And I'll keep an eye on the water temperatures. As long as that water temperature is not in the upper to low 50s, I'll try it. It's outside of that range, above, say, 57. Once it gets around that mid-50s range, I think those fish are deep in the uh, bayous and in the dead-end canals where they can escape any current, not have to put out a lot of energy in that cold, cold water when they're feeling really lethargic. Well, and, and bait have limited avenues to get past them. They, That's true. A, Once that water temperature... bait when they're in those, in those deep channels. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. Once the bait moves out, I'm sure the fish move out as well. Well, the wind picked up in Lake Bourne a whole lot more than the fish. So, Captain Mike blindfolded me to take us to his secret spot. And the good news is I know this marsh pretty well, and I might have an idea about where we are. Oh, That's I'm, a keeper. I'm finding peanuts. I'm finding peanuts, one right after the other. He might, he might stay. He might stay. Oh, oh. look at that. You know, that's a beautiful fish. He really a... wasn't much of a fighter. Darren